All right, you guys, so like, share, subscribe. Ring that notification bell so you guys get all the updates whenever we release video content on the channel. Shouts out to the Lions Den community. Salute to my brother, A Weapons. He repping life music. Make sure y'all following us on social media, on our Instagram. Also, make sure that you guys check out our Facebook channel, uh, facebook.com backslash Ticket TV. All these links are going to be in the description box below. You guys can also catch our podcast show. Make sure y'all subscribe to our podcast show. We'll have all the hidden content that you guys didn't see from our podcast show. Uh, so all of the links will be pinned below. Salute to everybody who donates to the stream. And we're going to get ready to get started with this stream today. Now, hopefully you guys enjoy it. Much love, honor, respect, and appreciation. Well, for all you guys who don't know, now you about to know. Uh, as you guys come on in the building, salute to everybody that's watching uh, again. Uh, I will be live tonight on our podcast show for the doubleheader in the NBA. The two big games, I will be live for them. The Bucks and the Celtics and the Lakers and the Warriors. So if you guys want to check in, tap into that. Click that link that's pinned at the top. And I will be live for those games on my podcast tonight. So make sure you all subscribe to the podcast. We got to get into this, man. As Ronda Rousey, man has come out blasting Vince McMahon. Now, we already know Vince McMahon has allegations that have come out against him uh, in a disturbing uh, lawsuit. We went over that completely on this channel, but we went into the further, into the extent of the details on the podcast show. So make sure if y'all not subscribed, check out the podcast show, patreon.com backslash ticket TV. You will see the whole run through of the entire lawsuit against Vince McMahon. It is unbelievable. That other lawsuit that's brought out against him, but Ronda Rousey, who was famously known, infamously known for being an MMA fighter and then shifting over and making the move going to uh, the WWE. Um, she is now coming out, going off on Vince McMahon. Uh, so Ronda Rousey has revealed major changes that must be made in the WWE. And uh, her comments on Vince McMahon and allegations to how she feels uh, things was going on under him are absolutely scathing. Now, for you guys who don't know what's going on, uh, again, Ronda Rousey, she, I don't know, some, uh, yeah, most of y'all should know who Ronda Rousey is. She had a big spark uh, and MMA. Uh, she's supposed to be the baddest woman on the planet. Then she got beat and she lost her mojo. And she basically quit the, the uh, MMA, and she went into the uh, WWE. So she was still in the WWE when Vince McMahon was running the WWE. And so apparently she might have seen some things because she has some things to say. And she says that, uh, you know, um, Stephanie, Steph, well, she said Steph and Stephanie McMahon, the daughter of Vince McMahon, and Triple H, the game. Show what's up, boy. And Triple H, the game, who's doing a great job over there right now, uh, running creative and just running the show over there. Triple H has done a great job bringing the sport back. Uh, she says, I think they're honestly doing their best. But, I mean, I think that Vince McMahon just created a fundamentally sick environment. And I think if Ari Emanuel is going to be able to actually make this multi-billion dollar dysfunctional organization into one that functions, he's got to clean out all of Vince's cronies. He's got to completely clean house and remove Vince's influence completely, said Ronda Rousey. And the quote that she put out there about Vince McMahon, she says, sick. She says, I mean, I think that Vince McMahon just created a fundamentally sick environment. Now, again, there's a woman who's suing Vince McMahon who made claims that this environment was that what Ronda Rousey just said. She's claiming that she was forced and she was basically trafficked throughout the, the uh, WWE and forced to have relations with different personnel and within the WWE. And, you know, Vince McMahon has denied all those charges, but he has since removed himself completely from the WWE. Uh, they have tried their best to s clean his name of this situation. If you guys go look at WrestleMania, they just told you the other night that this is a new era and this is the Triple H 
Paul of Hesker, and basically they're wiping everything of Vince McMahon because of those allegations. You understand what I'm saying? Uh, and things that were going on around Vince McMahon, which, you know, he had allegations. He tried to act like he was going to go away, came back, and then another allegations came that was just too hard on him. And now he's out of there for real. You understand what I'm saying? And so, you know, basically he was forced out because the allegations were so strong that the, it could have tore the whole company down if Vince McMahon would have stayed there. If Vince McMahon would have stayed running WWE with the allegations he had on him, that would have destroyed the entire company. The sponsors would have all left. They would not have worked with them. It would have uh, destroyed the morale of everybody that was involved, other people who was dealing with stuff. It could have been more allegations that came out, potentially more lawsuits, and it would have just destroyed the entire WWE. So that forced uh, Vince McMahon to get out of the way. So now they cannot attach him uh, to the WWE no more because he has relinquished that. So now they can't attach him to that. So now if anybody attacks Vince or comes after Vince, he'll, it'll be him on his own. It won't be like they're going at the WWE as well. But Ronda Rousey, if you look at the quote of her words, she says that she thinks that Stephanie McMahon and Triple H are honestly doing their best. She says, but I mean, I think that Vince McMahon and remember, Ronda Rousey worked at the WWE. And y'all, make sure y'all share this video and like this video. See, these type of videos, they're not going to put this in the algorithm. But I didn't do this for no views. I did this for off the principle. Because I see ain't nobody talking about this. Because see, I'm going to tell y'all something. It was a time Ronda Rousey was one of the biggest fighters, if not the biggest fighter in the world. They made her out to be the biggest fighter. Shout out to my boy, too, Ronda Building, too. They made her out to be the biggest fighter in the world. You understand what I'm saying? The biggest fighter in the world is what they made her out to be. I want y'all to really think about this, right? And then she got she got beat. And when she got beat, everybody jumped off that bandwagon instantly that was on her bandwagon. You understand what I'm saying? I always thought she was a hype job with a bad attitude. You know what I mean? And then she got exposed, and then that, that attitude turned into tears. You know what I mean? Straight up. So now, like I said, remember, in the aftermath of that, she quit the MMA, UFC, the MMA. She quit that, and then she ended up going to World Wrestling Entertainment. But Vince McMahon was still running the show when she went over there. Vince McMahon was going through all those allegations and people, it was worried that people hated how Vince McMahon was running the organ, running the program. Now, back in the day, in Hogan's day, Randy Savage's day, Reza Ramon's day, the Heartbreak Kid Shawn Michaels day, Triple H's day, Vince McMahon had the pulse. He, was, he did well. I mean, most people love wrestling at that time. You had the Attitude Era, and before that, you understand what I'm saying? You had the Hulk Hogan Era. You understand? And before that, you had Andre the Giant, and you had all those other guys before that. So guys actually enjoyed wrestling then. But it became being sickening for a lot of people beyond those eras, and it came cheesy, sickening, and it was a lot of allegations and stuff that had been going on for years. And now this new era that we live in, that type of stuff you can't get off on no more. I mean, I saw a promo the other day that The Rock did like 15, 20 years ago on TV. If he did it today, he'd be canceled. You know what I'm saying? Where he had girls on TVs eating pies and saying all kind of stuff. Like, he'd be canceled for that today. You know what I mean? But these were the angles of stuff. And then remember, you had different wrestlers like Ahmed Johnson came out and said that Vince McMahon, he quit the WWE because he said Vince McMahon wanted him to be brought out with a rope around him and dragged out, and he refused to do it. He said his sister was, was uh, sick and passing away and watching him, and he did not want her to see that imagery of him, and so he quit instead of do that. You know what I'm saying? And so it's just a lot of different things that was going on, but the fact that Ronda Rousey would come out and say this about Vince McMahon, and the media's not even talking about this. This is a new story. Ronda Rousey just came out. Anything Ronda Rousey would have said uh, when she was in the, in the UFC, this would have been front page, blasted everywhere. It's crazy, though, that I had to do great journalism, like I do, and go find this story. Because the mainstream media don't want to report on this story of what she said. She says, I mean, I think that Vince McMahon just created a fundamentally sick environment. And I think if R. Emanuel is going, you know, when she says sick environment, that means, bro, put, put it as you may, what you think that means. When she says Vince McMahon created a sick environment. And I believe her. I believe Vince, I believe Ronda Rousey and what she's saying about Vince McMahon in that environment. Bro, when it's more than one person saying this stuff, bro, I believe Ronda Rousey. I believe it. 
I, bro, listen, let me tell you something, man. If you watch Vince McMahon back in the day, bro, bro, he gave you vibes. Just how he talked, all this stuff. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah, Vince McMahon. <laughs> all this stuff. You understand what I'm saying? So, I mean, you can believe what you want to believe, right? She don't have to be more specific. She said what she said. She told you straight up right there. She said, I think that Vince McMahon just created a fundamentally sick environment. That What else you need to know? You see the allegations he has. So now everybody's saying, oh, Ronda Rousey's full of it. Nah, she ain't full of it. But when it comes to P. Diddy, y'all don't say that. Y'all say, oh, nah, Diddy's guilty, man. Diddy ain't this. Diddy ain't that. Diddy ain't that. Diddy ain't this. But Ronda Rousey says it. Ah, oh, nah, man. She's full of it. Look at this guy right here, Raheem Hamilton. Shucking and jiving. Talking about some, oh, man, she's full of it. What you mean she's full of it? She said he ran a fundamentally sick environment. Period. She was there, you wasn't. So what are you talking about? What are you talking about? I believe Ronda Rousey. I believe her. Because if that's not the case, why Vince McMahon leave? Why he leave? Why he leave? If that's the case, why Vince McMahon leave? Vince McMahon don't went through multiple scandals. When you before you was born, remember, he they went through the whole steroid scandal over there in the WWE. A WWF when it was WWF at that time. Remember this. You said women lie. I don't think Ronda Rousey's lying. Now, how about that? I don't think Ronda Rousey's lying. How about that? Vince McMahon's wife divorced her. Why? Why did Linda McMahon divorce Vince McMahon? Make it make sense. I believe Ronda Rousey when she says that he created a fundamentally sick environment. You know why? Because the man has multiple other allegations out against him. You said, so what did Dana White did? He slapped his wife in the face on tape, period. That was on tape. That's what he did. And didn't nobody care. That man slapped his wife in the face. And the people said, oh, well, she hit him. Nah, you still ain't supposed to put your hand on a woman. Ain't no woman supposed to put their hand on a man. Right? He got a complete pass for that. I'm just keeping it real with y'all. So you think, oh, Vince is innocent? That's what you think? You think with all them allegations Vince McMahon got on your hand, you can come in here, and this is the type of stuff we be talking about, man. See, y'all ain't right. Y'all will come around here and say, oh, man, no Diddy ticket, no Diddy. But y'all won't say no Vince. No Vinnie Mac. You won't say that. Guarantee you won't say that. You know why? Because you've been programmed not to say that and think that. I believe Ronda Rousey. I believe her. She says, I think that Vince McMahon just created a fundamentally sick environment. And I think that Ari Emanuel is going, is going to be able to actually, if, if he's going to actually be able to make this a multi-billion dollar dysfunctional. No, she says, if Ari Emanuel is going to be able to actually make this multi-billion dollar dysfunctional organization into one that functions, right? He got to clean out all Vince cronies. Why would she say that? Why would she say dysfunctional? She been behind the scenes in the WWE. You haven't. So she has to know what's going on. And there's a lot of talk that people didn't like how Vince McMahon was running the company. You understand what I'm saying? See, you didn't live through the attitude era. I did. I lived through the attitude era. I saw all the stuff they had them girls doing. I saw all the little skimpy stuff they had them ladies wearing on TV. I saw all the stuff they were doing with Deborah. Remember when they had Deborah on TV and they was telling you about the puppies and all this other stuff? You guys forgot about all that stuff. I lived through all that. When they had Trish Stratus on TV. And remember what Trish was, Trish was doing? Remember some of those skits where Vince McMahon had ladies with him and stuff like that? Okay, so don't play with me, bro. I watch all this stuff, brother. You understand what I'm saying? That man was doing stuff that you couldn't do on TV today. He had Godfather walking down there with a line full of ladies. And what did they call him? What, what type of train did they call it? This is what Vince McMahon and them was running. Yeah, just keep it 100. Keep it 100, bro. Right? It was everything except it was almost, you could have almost called it a flick, to be honest with you. So you guys need to cut the cap. And that was on camera. So you have other people who saying stuff off camera. And then there was another video I did 
There's another video I did. You understand what I'm saying? And I did this, you know, um, off the, what you call it. There's another video I did. And I'm just going to tell y'all what's up. And I did this on my podcast show. And I went through all those allegations uh, over the years. It was a documentary. And this brother in the documentary, he went through all the allegations that Vince McMahon had over the years. He went through all of them. Right? You know all those ac- you know all the accusations Mr. McMahon has had against him? Not just one. It wasn't just one lawsuit. It wasn't just one. It wasn't. It was numerous. Right? Well, see, you guys haven't filled your history. So when you come in here talking about some, oh, man, women lie. Man, get out of here, bro. Get out of here, bro. You need to do your homework and do your research. You think Vince McMahon was going to give it up like that? You think he was going to do that? You think Vince McMahon was going to give up? Vince McMahon, every, the WWE was everything to Vince McMahon. You think he was just going to give up the company and do that if he was just capping? That's what you think? That's what you think? Make it make sense, buddy. Make it make sense, buddy. You think Vince was going to do that, buddy? That, is that what you feel? You guys, I told y'all, man, dudes be on YouTube capping, man. And, and, and smash the like button, man. This video, like I said, I ain't do this for no views. But y'all should share this video, man. It's funny how the mainstream media, it's funny how Law and Crime Network, it's funny how CNN and all these people ain't talking about what Ronda Rousey said. If Ronda Rousey would have said this six years ago, seven years ago, bro, everything, any word she said would have went viral. She says it now, nobody cares. If Ronda Rousey came up and said something about P. Diddy, man, it'd be a it'd be 2,000 people in this chat. No cap. It would be 2,000 people in this chat room right now if Ronda Rousey said, said something like this about P. Diddy. Oh, I'm just telling y'all the truth. But this is the type of stuff that's going on online. People don't want to keep it 100 and just keep it real all the way across the board. You understand what I'm saying? They don't. They don't. It's just a lot of cap going on in the community. So Rhonda comes out and says this, and people say, oh, oh, she's lying. You know, women just lie. No, 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 no. Guy has multiple allegations against him over his career. Multiple. Y'all only castrate and do this stuff to brothers like this, bro, and I don't respect that. This, this woman worked for Vince McMahon and said that she thinks that he just created a fundamentally sick environment. Make it make sense. Make it make sense. Right? This is what these women are saying. It ain't just one, it's multiple who said this. Right? Multiple. You need to go do your research of all of the different things that have happened and that have been alleged on Vince McMahon's watch before you come in this comment section saying the stuff you were saying, dog. We're not going to do that over here. We're going to tell the truth. We're going to keep it 100 over here, see? And I told you guys, it's on y'all to share these videos, man, because the media, the mainstream media have pushed this narrative in one way. They have pushed everything and made y'all feel like P. Diddy, you said, who cares what she thinks? I care. That's why I'm here. And you, why you always uh, shucking and jiving, TBE trucking? Why you always shucking and jiving, bro? Like, you always going out your way, bro. I, I noticed that about you, bro. You want to be a company man that bad, brother? Is that what you want to do, dog? You want to be a company man that bad, brother? Like, I, I kind of peeped your vibe, bro. I peeped your vibe, dog. I don't, I, don't, I don't be respecting how you move, dog. Like, you don't move correct, bro. Like, real talk, homie. This woman put up allegations, bro. Her allegations should be taken serious. Real talk. She said she, she worked there. What do you mean it's easy to talk trash? She worked there, bro. She worked there. So what, what you mad about? You mad because she calling out Vince? You mad because she calling out Vince? Dude's a joke, man. LB, what's up, man? Like I said before, I'm staying on business with this. This ain't even got this. This video only got to do a thousand views. I'm staying on business like this. So you think all those women are lying on Vince McMahon TBE trucking? You you think all those women are lying, sir? Is that, is that what you think? You think they all lying? You think all those women who came out with allegations against Vince McMahon lying? You must not know what type of dude Vince McMahon is. Because Vince McMahon doesn't, doesn't strike me as a dude that's going to back down 
if he's telling the truth. He don't strike me as that type of dude, but I, I see how you moving, though, bro. I can never respect guys like you. You understand what I'm saying? I can never respect guys like you, bro, because I already see how you do. You're talking about you're an owner-operator. You have a boss, brother, period. You get up, you punch the clock, you have a boss. That's what you do. You understand what I'm saying? You have a boss. You ain't the boss. You don't decide what time you go to work. You don't decide that if you want to take, you just want to take off a week tomorrow and not go to work for a week. You don't do that. So stop lying, sir. Stop lying. I can tell by the way you talk, you don't stand on business, sir. And that's with all due respect. The, the woman who's worked there, and it, it ain't just her, it's been multiple people who have made allegations, multiple. But you're going to sit out here with a straight face with multiple people who have made these allegations, multiple. Multiple people, right? Multiple. It's sad, bro. The state that we're in, it's sad. It's sad. I'm going to be honest with y'all, bro. I'm sad by all of you guys that take the type of stance that this dude is taking. And I hope everybody that watch this video, I hope y'all share and like this video, bro. Ronda Rousey says that she thinks that Vince McMahon created a fundamentally sick environment. And she also called it a dysfunctional, billion, multi-billion dollar dysfunctional organization. And then she said, Sonys. think about that. He's got a completely clean house and remove Vince's influence completely, said Ronda Rousey. That's what she said, right? This ain't no uh, black woman that said this. this. This is a woman who looked like Vince McMahon said that. So I think we should respect her thought and her opinion on this. The same way y'all respect when they say about P. Diddy, yeah, we're going to respect what they're saying about Vince McMahon, sir. And that's just how we, that's how we get it. It's funny how you guys don't like to watch these type of videos. It's real funny. It's real funny, bro. But this is how, this is how the world works. Y'all see this stuff, man. If Ronda Rousey said this about P. Diddy, bro, the video, this video had 2,000 people in the comment section. I can come back right now in three minutes, do a video about P. Diddy. It'd be 1,000 people in the comment section. Talking about they ain't get the notification of this video. I know they didn't. I know they didn't. Right? And that's just me keeping it real with y'all. Straight up. I didn't say women don't lie. I said I believe her TBE trucking. So what? I believe Ronda Rousey in this case. Now what? What you gonna do about it? I believe her. It's multiple people, multiple women that have made allegations against Vince McMahon, sir. Not just one. It's multiple. So what are you saying? What are you saying, dog? Again. So it ain't like what she's saying. Oh, we just can't believe anything that she's saying is just not credible. No, we're not finna do that. No, uh-uh. Nope. It's a history here. And like I said, if you know anything about Vince McMahon, Vince McMahon ain't giving up nothing easy. You think he giving up that whole organization after all these years and just walking away when he didn't want to? If, the alleg if there wasn't any kind of truth to those allegations, man, stop playing, man. Stop playing, brother. Stop playing, man. Press charges and stop trying to get money. Uh, she didn't sue him for anything. So, Aunt, you're wrong. You got Ethan again, sir. Ronda Rousey did not sue him for anything. So, you got Ethan again, brother. You got Ethan again. You, Ethan, you make yourself look bad, TBE trucking. She didn't press no charges. She didn't sue the dude. She just gave her opinion on what's going on behind the scenes of the WWE. You got a problem with that? See, now you eat it again. She didn't press charges. She didn't sue Vince McMahon for nothing. She gave her opinion. Now you still mad? What's your next excuse? She doesn't fall. In, they all looking for a payday. What payday is she looking for? She ain't asked for one. She ain't sue him. She ain't asked for no payday. So, bro, you you just, like I said, hey, I can't argue with dudes like you. I already know what's up with you, though, bro. Like, I, I, I already, I can see what through dudes like you, bro. Like, you I already know. You know what I'm saying? You you got that Stephen A. Smith mentality, bro. I know what you wake up think about doing every single day. So, I can't even really argue with you, man. You know what I'm saying? I, I, I tell you one thing, though, and I'm going to say it again. You know what I mean? I'm going to be honest with you. And I don't told you this a thousand times. I don't told you this a thousand times, sir. 
And I tell it to you a thousand more. Feel how you want to feel. You know what I'm saying? Straight up. Straight up. Straight up. So, like I said, you can bring that cap in all you want. That don't mean nothing. So again, like I said, I already know you capping, dog. I already know you capping. I already know you capping. You know? Nah, I don't want to hear that, bro. You, 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 you cloud chasing, bro. You capping, bro. You capping, bro. So again, brother. You know what I'm saying? Ronda Rousey didn't sue Vince McMahon. She didn't sue the WWE. She's not looking for no money. She just gave her opinion and gave what she thought. You mad about that? That's your fault, dog. That's your insecurity if you mad about that. And I'm going to say it again, though. And I'm going to tell you the truth, bro. Like, And here's, here's the truth about what you need to understand, bro. Um, sir, uh, Vince McMahon... Um, well, you can feel any kind of way. I mean, you, you, is that, is that your daughter in the picture with you, sir? How would you feel if she had allegations and nobody believed her? Think about that. How would you feel if your daughter came forward in the future with some allegations and nobody believed her and they had the same response that you have? Think about that. So you automatically just going to shoot fly people and say what they think don't matter. Just off the top. I don't care what y'all say. Uh, it don't matter what you say. I ain't rocking with it. You guys is a joke. You joke. Period, bro. Period. Come on, that's how I feel about these women. Okay. Like I said. Like I said. And I stand on this. I don't even like Ronda Rousey, but I, I believe what she's saying. I believe her. I believe her. Why do I believe her? Based off of different allegations that I've seen. That's why. And she's not suing Vince McMahon. She's not looking for money. So you're lying, sir. You're putting stuff out there that's not true. And the mainstream media is not reporting this. If I'm not telling you this story, if I didn't, if I didn't do my research and look for this story that came out today, you guys wouldn't know about it. Right? You wouldn't know about it. And I'm just being honest with y'all. Just came out. An hour ago. Right? This, and this was an international article that reported this. Right? So they already in tomorrow. So, again, don't come in here talking about some... Shout out to Mr. Mass in the building, man. Don't come out here talking about some... Uh, hey, hey, she, hey, she's looking for money, dude. I don't believe her, man. She, man, get out of here, bro. All them allegations Vince McMahon had against him, bro. We all, me, Maz, Showtime, all of us. Everybody grew up on Vince McMahon. We already know how it is, man. The way Vince McMahon be talking and walking and doing all that stuff, man. We grew up through that, bro. We grew up through the attitude era, bro. You're not finna tell me. Bro, they was doing stuff on TV, bro. Stop playing, bro. Stop playing, man. Stop playing, bro. You remember the type of matches Vince McMahon was having with the ladies? Bro, they was having God dag on. Imagine what was going on behind the scenes. They was having God dag on uh, uh, matches where they was having mud matches. They was having God dag on. Bro, Mass, remember they had wet t-shirt contests and stuff like that on Raw? This is the type of stuff they was doing on, on TV. In the Attitude Era. Lingerie matches. All kind of stuff. Cut it out, bro. The man had a dude that was named Val Venus. What do you think that name was really supposed to be meant for? He comes out in a bathrobe and says, hello, ladies. Well, what do you think that was for? The big Vabersky. Well, what do you think? You think we just, bro, something wrong with these people, man. Yeah, bro. He going to sit up there and tell, but you're going to think that they're going to do all this in the public. We watching this in real time in the public. We watching this. Any of that stuff they did today would be canceled if he did any of this stuff in this era. That's why I told you, we grew up in a whole different era. 
But now people speaking out against that stuff and you never know what was going on behind the scenes. You know what I mean? Yeah, you, you had uh, Jerry the King Lawler on there. Ah, Deborah, puppies, ah. All this stuff. I'm just telling y'all what the truth is. Rock telling people what type, what type of pie is this? They had dudes on there. Uh, they had the dude, the samurai dude, going at it with uh, Val Venus. Bro, they had a scene where they was acting like they was, you know, doing, bro, come on, stop playing, man. Stop playing, bro. So you're not going to sit up here and tell me that that was this type of stuff that they were running on TV. But you don't think that none of this stuff was being uncomfortable behind the behind the stage? Bro, yeah. Hey, bro, they, they had gold dust on it. Remember when they had gold dust getting into it with Ahmed Johnson? And Ahmed Johnson was talking about how they how they had gold dust kiss him and stuff. And he, he lost his mind and went crazy. That scene is still on YouTube. Go look it up. Ahmed Johnson lost his mind when Gold Dust did that. Broke the door down. Every, bro, that was, those scenes was crazy. So don't tell me that, bro. We already know. So you're not finna do all this, bro. You're not finna do it, bro. We already, I believe Ronda Rousey, period. And I believe the other women that came out. I believe it, bro. You said what? You said you said. Do I remember the ang with Kurt Angle and Booker T's? Bro, listen, you had a lot of stuff going on, bro. Bro, they had the junk going on with um, what's the girl's name, Lita? Bro, they had a scene going on, bro. Come on, man. Come on, man. Yeah, Vince dropped it, bro. Listen, all this. Two uh uh LB, you remember this? Some of these dudes too young to know this stuff, bro. They don't really know. You know what I'm saying? And back then, we was just laughing. We thought it was great. We was like, man, there's some entertaining stuff on TV, bro. But you look at it now, and some of the stuff people could have been going through behind the scenes when they was doing this stuff in the public. Like, man. You know what I mean? But yeah, that's how y'all feel. How y'all want to feel. If y'all want to believe, that's on you, bro. But don't come up in here telling me you believe all the allegations against P. Diddy. But then when somebody say something about Vince McMahon and this girl said that he was had a sick environment going on over there, now all of a sudden y'all don't oh no, I don't believe her. It's all about money, but she ain't suing. So, okay. Yeah, just make sure you keep it a hundred, bro. When y'all talk about stuff, make sure y'all keep that a hundred though, my G. I'm, I'm just telling you what it is. Make sure you keep it a hundred, bro. Yeah, stand on business. Make sure you keep it a hundred. Next time, when it's another allegation that come out against P. Diddy, I don't want you coming here talking about some Hey, yeah, man, see, because they don't know about Diddy, man. Nope, because when I talked about Vince McMahon, you didn't want to watch the video. You ain't going to share the video. Then you come in here cap and talk about, I don't believe all the women. Okay, well, sit down there. Straight up. So, again, yeah, man, I don't, I don't, this dude, man, I don't know what's wrong with somebody. I do know what's wrong with him, though, man. You know what I'm saying? I do know what the problem is, man, but it's, we have a lot of that going on. You know what I'm saying? Me personally, I believe in calling all that foolishness out, man. Like real talk, bro. You know what I mean? If you if you read the lawsuit against Vince McMahon and seen what the lady alleged that he did, bro, bro, that's disgusting, bro. That's disgusting, bro. So again, y'all let me know what y'all think, man. Like, share, subscribe, man. I don't know what's wrong with these cats, man, but. Y'all let me know what y'all... Y'all don't even see that stuff no more. The stuff they used to do, like the like the bikini matches, this is how you know things change. Y'all don't see that stuff no more. Mud slinging matches, all that stuff, y'all don't see it no more. Y'all don't see none of that stuff, none of those fights no more. You will never see the Godfather act no more. You won't see it no more. Because they live in a different era now. You know what I'm saying? So, y'all let me know what y'all feel, man. Make sure y'all subscribe to the podcast. I'm going to be live on there in an hour for the Milwaukee Bucks and the Boston Celtics. Big game tonight. And I'm going to be live for the Lakers game. So, if y'all not subscribed, make sure y'all subscribe to the podcast. Show them. I'll pin the link at the top of the comments. So, y'all do not miss me being on live for those shows today. We will be turned all the way up for that show tonight, for the live stream tonight on those games. Because this is it right here, y'all. So the Bucks, they they backs against the wall. Y'all already know. We're going to get to it tonight on the podcast. So make sure y'all click 
click the uh, link, subscribe to the podcast show. We almost had 3,000 subscribers on the podcast. The link is pinned at the top of the comments. It says subscribe to the podcast. Make sure y'all do so. I will be on live on the podcast in one hour for the Bucks and the Celtics game. Boy, it is going to be crazy tonight. Y'all let me know what y'all think. Let's get to it. Go on.